One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Hello my beautiful subscribers, Rasa the Dancer is here and today we're gonna do a salsa video for both leaders and followers and it's all gonna be about a hook 10, hook behind and hook in front. If you don't know what I'm talking about, stick around, I'll explain everything, I will demonstrate it, I will break it down, but it basically came from my uh, spinning video and I think a lot of you were commenting this is what we struggle with the most so I am here to help you out. Now, before we go any further, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and now, let's do the hooks. Okay, so let's get it started. I will demonstrate first a hook behind, then I will demonstrate a hook in front. We're gonna start as a crossbody salsa, which means dancing in the line, and we're gonna start on the first beat, which is one. Now, I'm gonna start with my left foot with a basic, and I will talk you through it. So, we start on the left foot and we're going into the basic forward. One, two, three, five, six, and seven. The hook ten behind starts on five. So, I'm going to do one, two, three, one, two, three. On five, I'm going to prepare behind, five. On six, I'm going to spin around, six. On seven, I'm going to wait. And then on one, I'm going to go one, two, three, back to my basic five, six, and seven. I'll show you that again. We have one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, and seven. Now, if we're going to hook in front, we're going to hook in front on one. So as I do my basic, I finish a full basic. One, two, three five, six, and seven. Now on one, I hook in front. One, I turn on two, three, two, three. And then I'm finishing with five, six, and seven. I'll show that again. I go one, two, three, five, six, and seven. Hook on one, spin two, three, and five, six, and seven. So that is a hook behind and a hook in front and now let's break it down in detail. Okay, now a little bit more detail. If I'm going to do a hook behind, I go one, two, three. As I hook behind on five, the important bit is not to turn on five. Okay, so that's the important bit. As you do five and you hook behind, you will feel like your hip wants to follow the leg and you have to resist and keep your body tight. So that's the first important tip. Five is a preparation, it's on the ball of the foot and try to place it where it's comfortable for you. Try not to get to the positions where you feel off balance already just in the, the beginning, in the start, right? So my five is a hook behind. On six, as I start turning, my weight goes on the ball of the feet and it kind of distributes between the legs. But then towards the end, it finishes all the way onto my right leg and the left leg ju just kind of drags around. And when I'm ready to go basic, my left foot is available, okay? So one more time, I go back on five, Five, no turning, preparation. I'm nice and low. I start the 10, and then as I'm about to finish, I go a little bit more momentum. My weight is completely on my right, my left foot is free, and then I'm going into my basic. Now, this is not an easy turn, so you have to be kind to yourself. The balance is very important. Where you're spotting is important. I prepare, and then I spot. And you will feel because you are spinning, your weight is going forward, you're going to have to make sure you push yourself a little bit backwards so to maintain that balance and to contribute. If you cannot leave your leg there, you can collect, but you have to remember that on one, you have to step forward. Okay? I know it will take a moment. It's just about the practice. You're going to be fine. Now, the hook in front. As you're going with your left in front on one, you want to make sure you are hooking tight. And again, not turning, preparing first. 
then you are turning, distributing your weight evenly like you did with the other one and then you collect in the end your left foot and you are left with your right one going back on five. One more time, I collect first one, it's tight, yes, I'm not here, I'm tight. Then I start turning in between my legs, then I flick and I collect towards the end and I'm ready for my five. So this is kind of like detailed explanation where you can focus on if you're struggling. But the most important thing, keeping your core engaged. If you need more details about that, I'll link you a video about the core, how to work your core, and then also how to use your head. I will link a video for you in the description box for that as well. Because without spotting, it really doesn't matter what you're gonna do, it's hard to do those turns right. And also, if you don't keep your core engaged, you will feel you're always off balance. So we need the preparation, we need the core, we need the head, and then it's just a matter of practicing and getting into your muscle memory. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Remember, this channel is all about you. So if you have any requests, go to the comments and speak out. Also, if you need some personal attention, I do a lot of workshops, online workshops where you can get my attention. All you need to do is go to my website, dancewithrasa.com or find more on Instagram. You're gonna have a little handle here. Just follow me and I will show you all kinds of things dance. And now, I love you. I send you my keys and goodbye.